Greetings, greetings, greetings. And welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Today is a magical day. Today is a day to manifest anything that you want. Today is a magical day because it is February 22nd, year 2022. So welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. My name is Lisa, your host for today. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? I know I say this every time, but it's become my way of saying it. And it's like, you know, I talk about it. Anything that you repeat day in, day out, every day, especially if you repeat it for over 33 days, consistently, every single day, it becomes embedded in your memory. And when you continue repeating that more often, guess what happens? It becomes a part of your behavior. It becomes a part of your entire synergy. And it is embedded in your subconscious mind, which in fact becomes your new normal. So anytime you want to shift or change a habit, do this. Do one thing over and over, over and over for 33 consecutive days and see what happens. So today, being t February 22nd, 2022, everyone is talking about this day. So I hope your day will be as magical as what you make it. So why is this number so important? I like numbers. I'm a little bit into numerology, not into astrology. So this number actually is a very powerful number. It also has a deep spiritual meaning. So what they say, I don't know if you believe it or not, but sometimes we have to believe in things. And you know, when you believe in something, your belief, in whatever it is, either this number or your own thoughts or what you say, this is what I believe in. And if you have strong emotional connection to your belief, then that becomes your reality and it becomes real for you. So the universe or whatever, it creates this and manifests this for you. So number two, symbolizes unity, kinship, love, relationship, and what we call it, the two hands that come together. We've got two eyes, two, uh, the mouth has lips, right? We've got two ears, two hands, two feet. So this connection of the two is very important because not only we have it, it's all around us. So when two people come together, or two companies merge, this two, it's a union of peace, hopefully, between different entities or individuals. So, two is also a master number. It's known as a master builder. So anything that brings with it insight, talent, courage, intelligence, power, and charisma. So that's your master builder, master key number. Number 222, two, two, which adds up to a six, which I believe six is the unity, right? It's actually associated with personal uh, creativity. Uh, that is from the inside out. The number 222 two, two also governs the energy of the sun and symbolizes positive thoughts, clarity, and spiritual growth. So there is a lot of people who chose this day to get married, to sign a contract, to become a part of an organization, or to say yes. You wake up in the morning and you say yes to yourself. Today is the day to do that. So you still have until midnight today, no matter where you are in the universe. So number 222, which combines the numbers 2 and 22, it represents harmony and serenity in life. So when 
we come to this, you know, Europeans write 22 and then first the day and then the month and then the year. So in America, we say 222. First, we go the month first and then the date and then the year. So in a way, it's not consistent. So the Europeans say the date, the month and the year in conjunction of exactly what it is. So it's 22, 02, 20, uh, 2022. And that is why I put it on my website that it it is this um, connection. And if you look at it, it says, how, hi, Seda John, how not only you can read it backwards, right? 22022022. And then when you look at it, even the letters, because in calligraphy, there is a way of putting it together that we talk about it. And let me talk, let me say this. Okay. Um, there is a word for this and I can't remember it. It's um, good morning, Lisa. Okay, so it is not only a palindrome um, be, being 2202 2022, but it's also an ambigram. So what is ambigram? It is a way of writing, a calligraphy of writing that when you write it, you can read it backwards. Even if you flip it over, it's very much the same. And it means the same thing from this way or from the other way. And no matter which way you write it, the meaning of the word, the way you read it, is exactly the same. We all need to change and go with the metric system and the date system as well. Well, I don't know if we all must, but, you know, it seems like America has its own way of doing things versus the entire world or Europe or everywhere else. So, but that's called uniqueness. And that's why sometimes there is a confusion. I've had people come and write their birth date and everything on my client's intake form, and they do it the European style. And I'm like, but that's not today's date. So it's, which brings me to this. We're all unique. And we are here all to be in alignment with one another and everything which today's date was so significant and it reminded me of another date. When I was in high school, I remember this date so vividly, sitting in my English class. I can't even remember what, uh, what it doesn't matter what period it was, but sitting in my English class, our teacher was Mr. Johnson and I'm sitting probably one to the last. I was always in the back of the class. And the date was 7-7-1977. And I remember this so vividly, Mr. Johnson walking up and down the aisle right in front of the blackboard. And he took a chalk and he wrote 7-7-1977. And he said, everyone turn to the person next to you and say, hi, this day will be memorable. And we did that. And everyone in the class looked at one another, all the students for like few moments, there was this beautiful synergy of us coming together. And we all said, this day will be memorable. Well, I think in life, any date, either a date, an experience, a, a book, a feeling, anything that touches your heart or an experience that you do something magical or memorable and you memorize it and it gives you a sense of feeling of, I am connected, I am part of, and when that moment becomes 
so memorable, guess what? It stays in your memory. And I think that's what our memory is all about. Snap memories of snapshots of times, experiences, feelings that we bank into our memory and it is banked into our subconscious mind where it becomes significant. You know, because we have five senses, um, smell of coffee, when you walk somewhere and if you go to a department store or something and there's scents, all kinds of perfumes and everything, but you may walk by one person that is wearing a cologne or a perfume and suddenly you just go it's either that scent that is very familiar or it just brings something up in you it reminds you of something the smell of cookies the smell of coffee the smell of um, something significant you know <laughs> for me it's a brand new car a puppy, oh, the smell of that. So it is sense that touches you, has made an impact in your memory bank. In a way, that's exactly what I do. People say, why is it different going to a hypnotherapist versus a cognitive therapy? Is because we tap into your subconscious mind and the things places experiences the good the bad the right wrong none of that matters it's just memories that has been banked in your subconscious mind and when we tap into it when we want to make a change and we bring it forward evoke it evoke that memory that feeling that experience knowing that at this very moment sitting right here in my chair it is not happening it is not real but it is real in your mind in your subconscious because the feelings that we evoke it feels like oh, it's happening knowing it is not and i help my client feel safe knowing that it is not happening and yet we can touch that subconscious level that is where the impact happens. So in a way, today, making this 222, 2022, whatever happens today, when you make this date, even being present right here and, you know, let's make bank this memory at this very moment and say, I know exactly where I was at 12 o'clock on 2 22 22. Hmm? you were on heel talk tuesday right here right now with me lisa so if i were to say close your eyes for just a moment there you go just take a moment and close your eyes and become very comfortable where you are and with your eyes closed take a nice deep breath that's right. And as you breathe, you bring in oxygen, vitality, and you bring this very moment and allow this beautiful way of being, whatever it is that you are hearing from the sound of my voice or any other sound that is surrounding you realizing that nothing really matters at this moment except this very moment and be grateful to your sound mind strong body and your loving self this beautiful spirit that you are and at this very moment, be grateful to every essence, every sense, all your senses. And just bank this memory for this moment. 
and realizing that you are so present right here, right now. That you are one with this incredible universe. No matter what is happening, no matter what the number is, whatever the date is, significant or not, you are the one who is significant. That's right. You're the one who can make this day, this moment, significant. And no matter what has occurred in your life until this very moment, every single memory, experience, feeling, every scent, every touch, every essence, until this very moment, that has been banked in your memory, it is part of your history. That's it. It is not happening at this moment. But at this very moment, right here, right now, if there is essence or any part of your body that may be in pain, even if you are hurting emotionally, if you happen to be suffering mentally at this very moment, you can say, I am, I am healing, I am better than yesterday, I feel healthier at this moment just for now. I can ease my pain. I can feel more joy. I can be more loving and feel more love. I can choose to be kinder to myself as well as others. I have a choice. I am significant right here on Mother Earth. My body can heal. I can ease my pain. Every essence of my body, every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue, every cell is rejuvenating, is healing and becoming healthier. My mind is powerful, is strong. I open my heart I expand my mind and I can transform my life. Today is my day. Today I choose to bank this moment to show up, to stand up, to speak up and to express myself more openly and clearly, more lovingly. I deserve joy. I deserve abundance. I deserve all the good that life has to offer. I can forgive the past and others. Today is a new day. Today is a good day. And you exhale, releasing all that you no longer want. All the fears, all doubt, all negativity, even pain. Just let it go. 
everything that has weighed you down, gave you this feeling of overwhelm, undervalued, unappreciated. It is up to you to value yourself and appreciate yourself. Today is your day. Nice deep breath. And with your eyes closed, you can say yes. 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 So in a way, it is a yes to you. It is a yes to the universe. It is a yes, just like the two, to bring it together. Two hands that come together for prayer. Two hands that merge with one another. Two that brings this coupling, unity, togetherness, harmony, balance. Even when we think about this beautiful essence of harmony, unity, everything is with you and with others, with you and Mother Earth with you and God. So we pray up and we ask. So today is a beautiful day. Oh my God, it is 1222 at this moment. I didn't even think about it. So I am celebrating this moment. I am celebrating you. Thank you for being with me on this moment of 1222, this moment of the 22nd, you know? So no matter what is happening, realize you are the one who creates the magic. Your attitude, your aptitude, your personality. You know, they say, give me everything but when you have the attitude is when you can make it happen. There is no such thing as accidents. There is always a cause and effect. There is no such thing as a lucky, someone who gets a job, or someone who lands the job that they have been dreaming about, and then turns someone to and says, you know what? You must have been lucky to get that job. No, this person has been working hard, doing everything, either dreaming about it, writing, sending their application, going to that job, or doing everything to get that job. That person made it happen. It is not luck. Well, you know, it's like going to the slot machine and then it's like, wow, it's your lucky number. You know, I believe our personality, our attitude, our aptitude, everything creates that luck. When you believe in what you want, you can manifest what you want. So let's make this moment your lucky moment, your lucky second, your lucky ever momentum. Go bank on this. Smile and let the world smile with you. So happy Tuesday. And I look forward to hearing from you how this date, this moment, and this talk, this Heal Talk Tuesday made an impact in your life. So with that, since I don't have a champagne, it's during the day and it's a work day for me. And I look forward to making a difference in my client's life. And if I have made an impact in your life or there is someone that I can be of help with, either mentally, emotionally, physically, someone with fears, someone with wanting their self-esteem, their confidence, or someone who's got a lot of weight, 
physical, mental, emotional weight and pain, and they want to release it only to feel better in life because that's exactly what we want. We are not here to get rid of something because we are here to feel better, to become better, to feel grander and well and happier. We all strive for happier days and healthier moments. So with that, I thank you for being here with me on this significant date. As significant as my 7777, right? 1977. So today, make magic happen. The magic within you. This is Lisa. It's an honor being with you. So you can place your hand upon your chest and say, I accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before. My name is, mine is Lisa. And I thank you for this moment. Until next week, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.